hello everyone welcome back to the channel once again in this video we'll look at how to install the latest windows 11 in unsupported hardware pc so uh, for example these are the system requirements that we really need to install windows 11 but currently the system that i have is the intel i5 running with the seventh generation so we are going to download the latest iso and i have already done that so i'm just going to mount it you can double tap just to mount and then after we will copy all the contents inside of this uh, ISO, then we will we'll put it inside another partition. Don't uh, paste it inside the C drive because that is the uh, primary uh, partition. So you should create a folder inside a separate uh, partition. Then you can uh, you are good to go with the installation. All right. So uh, this is uh, copying. Uh, till that, let's. Uh, see uh, let's uh, see what is the system specification that i have and it is completely unsupported you can't install officially on this okay if i show you the pc health app you can see this pc doesn't meet requirement to install windows 11 it doesn't have secure boot and so on like the list says so you can see all the uh, applicable things on the screen all right the copying is done so we are done with this information also so we're just going to close this and now uh, we will move over the folder that we have here and here hold shift and right click uh yeah on the blank panel then it will open with the command prompt or shell then uh, you have to change your directory to the sources folder and then we have to open this setup prep this is the main setup thing the magic thing that we're going to do with this okay so this is the name and we are going to name it then after pressing tab it will take the name okay now we have to type slash product and then server and that's it hit enter and it will run the windows server installer and it will say install windows server okay so now here uncheck this we don't need it then let no require and then you're good to go there is no data loss you just have to wait for this because uh, after checking your pc it will let you know that you want a clean installation or you want you know completely of the things you you can keep the things okay it doesn't matter it is just going to upgrade your current windows all right so let's hit next and it is saying please wait and if we will wait all right it's taking a bit of time it won't take that much but still and a few things more like if you're upgrading your windows 10 to 11 in an older pc it's uh, not going to work like it should because it's an older processor so don't expect much from it okay so it has taken restart and it will update the windows it is going to take definitely like around 30 minutes i'm skipping the part just to save the time you can see it's running with the i5 7th gen and here we have the windows 11 lock screen just enter the older credentials and there you have it i still have all the application which was there before and it's completely free now so this way you can install the latest windows 11 on unsupported hardware but can't guarantee the performance but yeah if you want the taste of the latest 11 you can always have it by this way and you can see i still have there is no monkey business it's same it's still the same processor and same everything and that's it i hope you liked this video let me know in the comment section below if you want to ask me anything and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye